Hey y'all, so I decided to combine the tea time and the dinner time into one super vid. Since we've already tried the tea, we've already tried the coffee, we've already tried the chocolate. The only thing we really have left to try is the lemonade powder. So we're going to give that a try. Along with the chocolate, who, like I said, feels like it's had a better life. The Mexican chili bean pate, the Ardennes pate, some biscuits brown, our lovely Mentos, and of course our goulash with the Parisian potatoes. So. So let's get started and see what happens here. All right. So for starters, have our lemonade powder. It's a good solid block. Let's see if I can't make an opening spot here. Yeah. Seems like it's a little crystallized, but we're going to dump it in half a canteen cup of water and see what happens. Yeah, some of it's chunky. Some of it's still a good powder. So let's see what happens. All right, give that a quick stir. We'll let that set a few minutes. All right, so with our biscuits brown, we have some Ardennes pate. Which is a good meaty pate. Smells okay. So let's take a little bit out. Put it on our cracker here. We have our chili pate. A little bit of oil on the top, but don't think that'll be a problem. And just ignore the dog you hear walking around in the background. All right, we got our chocolate. Yeah, definitely got some bloom on it. But we'll still try it. Our Mentos drop. Standard white Mentos. And of course, our goulash with Parisian potatoes. You know, That looks like the same thing that was in the hot chicken. Those roundish colored, but they're not quite as orange. So I wonder if there was a bunch of paprika in that hot chicken meal that may have discolored it. And those were potatoes that we were seeing. That would make a lot of sense. So, okay.
So our lemonade has taken on a slightly yellowish color. That means it's good and dissolved. Although I do still feel a little bit of grit on the bottom. Mmm, that has a really good flavor. It's not too tart, not too sweet. Very refreshing. I chose to use cold water on this, which worked really well because it's a nice, cool drink. So, let's see how this Mexican chili bean pate does. Hmm. Hmm. So, if you go down to your local convenience store or your local supermarket and look over with the chips, you'll see cans of bean dip. Look for a taco flavored bean dip. That's what that is. That's exactly what that is. It is a taco flavored bean dip. There's no other way to put it. Kind of tasty. Not bad at all. Give me that in a bag of chips and I could definitely watch a game or two. Right, let's see what this Arden's pate is like. Hmm. Really mild flavor. Not really that strong. A good meatiness to it. Hmm. That's interesting. Still a big fan of the Spanish pate. It's been the tops in my book so far, but that one is not bad. It's not that heavy. It's got a real nice, mild, light flavor. Pretty decent. All right. Goulash with Parisian potatoes. Let's try us a Parisian potato real quick. Still pretty firm, but not too firm. Nice flavor. You can definitely see the hunks of pea in here. But I gotta admit, I like the hot chicken dish better. This one is not bad, but again, it's a very mild taste. It's not really spicy. It's the chicken dish had a real good, a real good savory flavor with that hint of sweetness on the back from the tomato. It was really good. This one is a little bit milder. How about we add on some sambal, or however they pronounce it. Let's see if that makes a bit of a difference. Well, or not. Never mind, it looks like this has solidified on me, so we're going to hit the eject button on that. We're going to skip that. Well, right, before I dive in, let me just go ahead and test. All right, well, the chocolate actually still broke pretty decently, even to be bloomed. Didn't crumble like the Australian does. Because Australian, I'm sorry, I don't know what it is and the traveling from there to here or what, but that sucker will crumble to powder with the lightest touch. Hmm. This one did crumble when I bit into it. But a good chocolatey flavor still. Good balance between light and dark. It's not too sweet, but it's not too bitter either. That's actually pretty good. That'll make a nice little dessert. And before I go, for the sake of experimentation,
And that's what I'm afraid of. You ever eat a piece of licorice right after eating a piece of peppermint? Yeah, neither have I. It's not a good idea. Those... Those are like the musk lifesavers that came in the Australian meal. They're an acquired taste, you know. <laughs> really weird. Um, yeah, really, really weird. Not a big fan of that. Ugh. And it leaves a bad aftertaste. I gotta get that taste out of my mouth. Hang on. Mm, better. Much better. All right, folks. Well, the chocolate was good. The lemonade is great. The pâtés are interesting. The goulash, I'll be honest with you, I'm about to finish eating it, but before I do, I'm going to sneak over and uh, grab me a thing of hot sauce real quick because it could definitely use a touch. As for these minnows, yeah, you can have them damn things. Those, yeah. Uh, yeah, no thanks. <laughs> so, <coughs> excuse me. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed. That's the Danish 24-hour meal. I'll have a little bit of snack stuff on here, but I'm going to finish my dinner real quick. Uh, so, uh, till next time. Y'all folks have a good night.